Okay, people, this is AX now. I'm responding to why I've just come across a, a, this, this video in Grand Rapids, Michigan, in the States, um, this news report on, on the BBC about a police officer um, shooting and fatally um, killing a black guy in Grand Rapids. The reason why, and, and so I, I wasn't even fully aware of this until I was, I I was shown recently. Um, and what's interesting that the BBC have reported on this, um, there's a lot of other stuff the BBC haven't reported on that's happening here in the UK regarding um, people here. What I've, I've noted, they, they, find it, they, they seem to find the time to want to report the, the bigger cases that's happening in America as if all, all what's happening over there, um, it's bad over there, but it's not that bad over here. But, but anyway, but yeah, so just going to, this this video, yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy one. And because... You know, there, there's a few people I know who are living in, in Grand Rapids as well. So my heart and my prayers go out to, to the whole community, to the whole city um, in, in, in having to deal with this. Because no doubt there's going to be a massive, massive fallout with this. But let's just get into this report and see what's going on. States videos have emerged of a police officer fatally shooting a black man in the back of the head as he lay face down on the ground. Footage shows Patrick Leoya running from a white officer. The two men were then involved in a struggle over a taser. You may find some of the images in Tim Ullman's report disturbing. Grand Rapids, yeah, Michigan, earlier this month. Police stop a car being driven by 26-year-old Patrick Leoya. The two men get out of so their here vehicle in what appears officer to be a fairly him routine over. interaction. But that's when things start to go wrong. I'm stopping you. Do you have a license? What do Do you have a driver's license? Do you speak English? Shit. Yes. Can I see your license? Even the way I was talking to you. The plate doesn't belong in this car. Do you have a license or no? The officer repeatedly asks to see Patrick Leoya's driving license, which he says is inside the car. But then he closes the door and appears to try and walk away. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. The policeman tries to stop him. There's a struggle and Mr. Leoya runs off. He's caught and they both fall to the ground. They get back up again. The officer has pulled out his taser, which they then fight over. Let go the taser! At this point, according to police, the officer accidentally turned off his body camera. You, you see, this, this is kind of... You see, when you see here, so you see what's happened. One, the way and how he's speaking to him, does he understand English? Talks about the license and, and, and all that stuff. And then he's trying to walk away, he grabs him, then he's running off and then he's chased him, takes out the taser and everything. But what, what's, what's quite dis very disturbing is that, because there's another video that's, that's more graphic that shows what, what happens when his camera's off, but someone else is recording Someone else is recording what's happened, but yet somehow accidentally the camera comes off. And, and this is what's disturbing because why, why has it gone down By this now, way? And so this is someone recording here. Filming the incident on his phone. Then the police officer appears to shoot Mr. Leoya in the back Yeah, they have head. to cut it. I couldn't cut when it. When I saw the video, it was painful to watch. And I immediately yeah, asked, this is... what caused this to happen? <sighs> This, so, um, if I'm honest with you, I'm still in shock. I'm still, I'm still in shock in in just the blatant, the blatantness and how things, how things just. I'm 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 still in shock. And what what's, I think what's scary for me is, one I think it was like how is something this big just not. So in one sense, it should be plastered everywhere. Like it should have been, main more mainstream news i feel okay it's on the bbc but it just feels it feels kind of quiet in that sense and then what's worrying is it's this case of like this should be normal it's like oh here we see it again like it's becoming too normal like that's what's scary like we expect to see someone's life being taken just like that on film and then we'll turn it We'll, we'll go and carry on doing what we what we're doing. Why? This 
I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. If I say something right now, I'm going to say the wrong thing because I'm that kind of emotionally charged. And sometimes it's better. I have to practice what I preach in it. Sometimes just keep your mouth shut. You know, you're not going to have anything constructive to say or something measured to say. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't really don't even know what to say. But I think the fact that again, we're seeing this reported in a particular way, it feels like it's normal how it's been reported. Like this is just another day and that's okay, which is not. But then also what's also striking is that the fact that the BBC are reporting about affairs abroad, then, then taking the time out to really scrutinize the affairs here that happens within our own country and really focusing on that, not just cherry picking um, certain things. And that's that's my view, my stance on it. So I find it interesting that they're choosing to want to focus on this, which is good. But focus on things that are happening at home, focus on cases that are happening here, and the injustices that are happening here. That's what I want the BBC and other news media outlets to, to focus on as well. But in regards to this, as I said, my heart goes out to the whole family and even to the city because I just know the tensions are going to be so high. It's going to be crazy there. It's going to be so high. So. And for those churches and, and, all, and those organisations that are out there, man, prayers are with you. Prayers are with you. Yeah, tough one. Thank you for watching the content we're putting out. Listen, make sure that you are liking, subscribing and following us on all our social channels, including patreon.com. Make sure you're finding us on there to support what we do so we can support you. And remember, guys, be extra.